What up, tube? Yo, so this is actually a um, really special uh, pour that I did. This was done on April 10th of 2022. Um, just a little bit of background here. Uh, you're gonna see me with blonde hair in this. Uh, it's like a one day only type of thing. It's actually my 45th birthday is the day that I'm making this thing here. This is a 48 by 48 canvas, 48 by 48 level 3 actually. Um, and I don't really use the level 3 canvases a lot. Uh, I just happened to run across a really good deal at Michael's where I was able to get two of them at a, you know, pretty reduced price for Michaels, of course. Um, and, you know, I just had some extra paints that I was using, and I had nothing to do that day. Like I said, it was my birthday, and, you know, to be able to spend the day by yourself is one thing, but, you know, birthday is kind of a whole other animal there. Um, but I was able to spend the day by myself in a room able to do some painting there. As you can see here, I just put some of the white paint on. And just trying to like pop some of the air bubbles in this and you know, get it kind of worked out there. Uh, the technique that I'm going to use in this, I'm going to basically just kind of just throw paint at the canvas to be honest with you. And I don't remember all the colors that were used. I know that, you know, there's some... Um, the, <laughs> there's like some artist loft paints, there's some uh, golden paints, there's some Liquitex Basics paints, but there's also some folk art paints, um, even some like Crafts Marts and all that, you know. Um, I want to say the Glow in the Dark, there's like a Glow in the Dark neutral, there's folk art, there's, um, excuse me, and do they, I want to say that folk art makes the color shift ones also, or is that somebody else, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I use some of the color shift paints, I use some, uh, I think you might be able to see my nevis in this also, wow, nice shot there, Derek, but, um, but yeah, I, you know, I think I use like some color shift paints in this, some glow in the dark paints, um, just a whole bevy of different paint colors that were used at the time, just a lot of different things that I broke out there. Um, there's even like some glitter paints that were used in this and everything. And like I said, a lot of just different colors. Um, the colors that I tried to use mostly were like purples, I might have used a little touch of black in here, not too much so, but then some purple. Um, I think there's some yellows also included in this, some blues, maybe some reds. Um, there's a glow in the dark, or black light glowing green that I used. I think I even used like some glitter paint in this. Um, I have it up on the wall right now in my living room just because it's that big of a pain that I really can't think of like anywhere else where it go. So it's on the wall in the living room. Um, but what I did with it, and I'm not going to talk through this whole thing because it's going to take a while basically to do, but what I did do with this was I put all the paints on, like I said, and went over it with a hair dryer just to kind of like blow it out a little bit. So they call it the bloom technique, I think, or blow out technique. I'm thirsty, but um, yeah, I went over the painting there with the hair dryer just to kind of blow it out a little bit there. You know, make some of the reaction happen. Um, you know, get it kind of reacting how I needed it to do. You know, and also the torch helps with that a good deal. You know, and the paints that I'm using. Um, the paints that I'm using are mixed with Floetrol. Uh, I believe that's, for the most part, all of my mix there. I did have a little bit of the um, 
There's like an artist love pouring medium. I think I had a little bit of. Maybe even on the Liquitex pouring medium also had a little bit of, but not a whole lot really. Um, and I did have a couple paints that I added in a little bit of the Minwax um, oil. And apparently that makes like the Australian flow troll type of deal. Like you just add a couple drops into that so that could way to not use the Australian version of Floetrol. Apparently the Australian version of Floetrol gives you a different reaction from the American version of Floetrol. Um, I don't think that I used any of my glue paints in here. I tried making up a glue and water mix. And I don't think I used any of those. I think this is all Floetrol mix here or, um, like I said, or the uh, ones that actually do have the pouring medium mix in there. Um, and I don't think I used any silicone. Like I said, I think I might have been trying to do the Minwax oil at this point, but I'm not even obviously sure on that. But I don't think any of these would have silicone in them. Um, yeah, because usually like when I mix my paints up in bottles to pre-mix, I don't add silicone in. Just because I want for that paint to kind of stick around for a little bit, per se, just in case it has to. Versus if I'm just making flip cups, which, you know, I mean, yeah, if I just made a flip cup, then it's a possibility, because I did make a flip cup actually the week before. I'm going to get around to editing that video and putting that one up here soon also. But yeah, I did make a flip cup kind of in that week before. So with that one, I might have used silicone. So if I had any paints left over, but I don't really think that I did. Or if I did, then I didn't have a lot of it. So, you know, we'll just go with that. Um, you know, I think I might have like done a really good job of like straightening those out if I did or whatever. Um, but again, I, I'd have to even just look back and see, because I know that there were some paintings where, um, you know, I mixed up some paint right there for the paintings right then um, that I did. It was like April 1st is when I did the first set and um, yeah, I just needed to do those then. But you know, I wanted to try these out here. This actually, I think I started the, yeah, no, these were on the 10th. Yeah, these are on the 10th. I was gonna say, maybe I started them on the 9th, but these are on the 10th. Um, it's a little late for me to be awake right now, uh, recording this here. So yeah, I might just let you guys do some more watching. Now that I've at least set up the canvas with some more of the white here, um, you know, you can kind of see on the tarp a little bit of the painting from before, you know, where it went up on the tarp there, and everything. Um, you notice how many people talk, you don't see my cheeks. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest with you, you know, we, we're just being like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of share this thing here with you guys. Um, you know, a really special thing for me to do. You know, it, it, it's really kind of weird for me to be able to share in these ways, these things that are going on here. Yeah, I did with some black hair. Oh, this is purple, I mean, you can tell. Um, but it is kind of weird for me to be able to share in these ways, you know, the different things that I'm doing here, um, you know, the different techniques that I'm trying out, and a lot of the different, you know, things that are happening paint-wise, creative-wise, um, and just different, you know, avenues of exploring, you know, in some of this artistic journey. This looks like... See that, well, that could either be like the glow pink, like I had a neon -y glow pink, but I also have a color shift, like a red flash, you know, that could be a number of things right there. It's kind of hard to tell because um, I, normally I would use like background noise, but I, I knew these were going to be kind of long paintings and I didn't really feel like, you know being silent for an hour because that becomes the thing also is 
you know, we get two choices here when we're doing these things. One is that we can just be completely silent for an hour, you know, or however long it takes to paint. Um, you know, have like silence all around us and do the whole voiceover thing live there, which I've tried doing a few of those. But you know, that's choice A. Or choice B is that I can actually have music playing in the background while I'm painting, enjoy myself, and you know, then just set up the camera kind of off in the corner. And, okay, well you guys can kind of see what I'm doing, which is what I did here. Um, I had, I want to say I had an electro mix or an album or maybe a live performance by this group called Spaceman. And Spaceman's an old, like, 90s rave underground group from Florida, Florida Breaks, you know, uh, that did song communion. If, if you know, you know, okay? There's, like, three guys dressed in little alien costumes. As I said, if you know, you know. Um, so that was, like, bomb digs, and I was just like, all right, I gotta go, you know, throw it back. I mean, blonde hair Derek, you know, throwing it back there. Um, not a lot of people actually got to see Blonde Hair Derek, like, in person that day. After this, I actually went and spent some time at the uh, Treasure Island Drum Circle in Treasure Island, Florida, of course, near St. Petersburg, Clearwater area. Um, so yeah, that was probably, like, my last really good day out, per se. Yeah, it's been, it's actually been a rough couple of months here, um... But I will say, you know, the positive has been being able to figure out ways that I can go back, download some of this older footage that I recorded, and, you know, try to get some of these videos out at least. Because, you know, I think if you get the content out, you're able to share, like, kind of what inspired you to paint these things, why were you painting these things, you know, what were you thinking at the time, what are you thinking now, looking back on it, you know, people pick up on that type of stuff that grows with you, you know, it becomes just something, um, yeah, it becomes something that people can kind of hang on to and give them a little bit of insight on what you're doing as an artist and as a creator and everything, so, you know, I think it's a good thing there, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm added in more colors, there's like an orange that I've added in, there's a green, I just said it at the there's another purple that I'm adding in. That might be the color shift purple there. Um, I see a couple blue in there. I see the yellow. You yeah, know, there's a lot of just fun colors per se. You know, that looks like a splat, splat, splat. You know, and I'm just letting it all kind of splat in there. Um, really, if I was to do this again, I probably would have put more color. Like, I, th it's kind of funny. Like, I'm just going to say it now. I thought I put a lot of color on there. And then I was like, ooh. I actually want to add more color to this. Like, I mean, even look at it now, I'm like, eh. But I love it. I mean, that's kind of the thing about it, is I absolutely, like, love the design on it and everything. Um, you know, absolutely just love how it looks. And it's just, you know, it's, you got a lot of negative space that you can deal with. And even the glow factor of it, you know, it's really chill. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm always, like, I'm in two camps. One camp is like, you know, don't waste all your paint. And then the other camp is, yeah, you know what? You got paint, so just use it, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's such a, you know, rough thing there. It's like being a wrestler, trying to tote three other ones around the ring, figure out which ones you want to body slam. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's just kind of weird. But yeah, I, I'm just splatting on colors at this point. Um, I'm having a lot of fun and just trying to keep, you know, my head above water really with it. Uh, I think I was thinking about calling this piece something like Neptune, you know, at the time. I'm not sure if that's what I really want to for. You know, we'll see once I'm typing everything up. Neptune kind of sticks. It's, it's kind of, because I see like the trident even in this, you know, as I look at it now. Um, Neptune's Trident, if you're unfamiliar there. But, you know, it's kind of a watery sort of feel to it there, but also like a planet type of feel. Um, Neptune, oddly enough, is where I'm from. And before you say, yeah, I knew he was an alien, no, uh, there's a city or township, I should say, 
and I can never really remember if it's city or township. I'll have to go look at the birth certificate upstairs, but I want to say it's township. Um, but it's up in New Jersey called Neptune. Um, and actually, I think it's like Neptune City and Neptune Township. And, you know, they're like next to each other. Or they kind of, I don't really understand how it all works, you know. I think like the hospital's technically in Neptune City, but the houses are just in Neptune Township, you know. So, yeah, Jersey Shore Medical Center, um, where it was, you know, April 10, 1977. I don't know why I'm giving you all of that information. Y'all need it, you know. Don't go robbing me. Um, but if you do, just know I have nothing for you to rob. But, yeah, that's where I'm at. And that's kind of what I was thinking, you know, I was trying to get back to that for the day. Um, I've been spending a lot of time just trying to get back into myself, really back into some of the things that I found fun, you know, that I would find fun, you know, even as a kid or an adult and all that. Um, it's a little weird for me to say, but yeah, you know, it's kind of been a big thing with a lot of what's going on in my life, you know, as of late. Um, like, I've spent a lot of time, you know, doing this whole deal of painting you know, just to be the creative type that I've been lately. Um, and also outside of that, I've spent a lot of time doing like substitute teaching in schools, you know. I think like the Friday before this, I was in a middle school with a band. And then the Monday afterwards, I was in an elementary school with a, um, art class and both were both have been just about as scary as you can think um you know and I've spent some time doing a lot of these things even since um you know middle schoolers are fun in themselves I spent some time over the summer with a lot of middle schoolers doing a um history and civics class, which, again, fun in itself, and, you know, if you've never actually spent time around middle school kids, plus I live in Florida, and, you know, this was, like, just before some of the new rules took over with schools, especially with, um, yeah, but even with that, yeah. So, you know, yeah. Um, but in, even with that, you know, I spent some time also, like, um, this year, actually in an elementary school. Um, this is actually just doing, like, regular gen ed classes. And that in itself has been interesting, to say the least. Like, there are some days where I've come home and I'm like, I just need to like sit in a chair for an hour at least, if not two, and, you know, not really talk, not really move, just kind of <laughs> decompress and figure out what just happened in my life here, you know, because it's just been that weird, crazy, unexpected. Um, but yeah, you know, at the same time, you know, all of these experiences have been, you know, eye-opening, yes, but, you know, rewarding in their own ways, you know, like with everything, you know, everything in life is rewarding in some way, um, you know, and anytime I put paint onto a canvas, it's rewarding, even if I don't get the result that I want each time, or, you know, if it just doesn't come out right or something, you know, there's a reward behind it, you know, like, uh, I'm sitting here right now, and, you know, on one wall, I have this painting here that you guys see, the 48 by 48, and we're calling Neptune, or Neptune Surprise, or Neptune Dinner, or what, you know, Neptune, yeah. But I have that painting on one wall, and then on, you know, the next wall, there's, you know, a couple other different paintings over there, you know, different types and whatever. Next wall has, you know, its own set of paintings on it. You know, each one I'm like, well, you know, I like this, or maybe I don't like this one. You know, there's like just a couple hanging out here in the room. Um, 
you know, and there's ones that, you know, I, I definitely like, and there's ones that I'm like, eh, you know, and I'll be honest, like, there's ones that I painted that I don't like, and those have been the ones that have sold, like, instantly, like, oh my god, I can't believe this sold that quickly, and then there's been ones that have been absolutely in love with, and thought, okay, this is going to be the best painting ever, and yeah, those did not move at all, um, you know, I still have those paintings that I absolutely love and thought were going to be, you know, hot off the press, you know, super moving, so it, it, it's, it's a catch, you know, we don't know what's what these days, we just kind of let it all flow and go and let it all happen, but, you know, I could say that, um, in all honesty, you know, these are a lot of things that I will do is just let the paint kind of flow here, so yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a little bit of white around the paint colors that I put down, um, if I talk for another 20 minutes, I might actually, <laughs> let's see if I can bullshit my way for another 20 minutes, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just adding some white around, and yeah, I, you can see I'm basically just taking white, it kind of looks like I'm taking it straight out of the bottle, but I've added in pouring medium into the bottles also. I'm not going to waste as little as humanly possible, you know, so, you know, get the same white paint and you can pour that out into the other bottles and you can add the pouring medium in there, and, you know, shake it up and boom, you got paint, you're ready to go, especially for white that you're using to kind of go around your canvas and help to move things around, help to smooth things around, all that, um, yeah, I think I might have, like, you know, my A or B on this here is add in more paint, especially in that center area, you know, give that more, give it just more guts, per se, but then also move the paint around a little bit first before I start to um, really blow it out, and, you know, torch it out and everything, though I like the process that I did. It, it, that's the thing, like, even as I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, I could've done this, I could've done that, you know, what if I should've, you know, as long as you like what you did, you know, um, if I truly didn't like it, I would scrape it, but instead I saved it, like I said, it's hanging on my wall right now, and that's the thing with all of these, you know, if I truly don't like something, I, yeah, I can't tell you how many things I've scraped, you know, it's like, ah, I really don't like that, you know, okay, let's just make some, you know, let's make some bottom paint or whatever, you know, um, let's just make something out to it this year, you know. Let's use this to make some jewelry or whatever, you know, whatever we're gonna do. But, you know, it just happens. And then, yeah, you know, there's other ones where, you know, I absolutely am just wowed and hammered and engulfed. I'm like thinking this is the best thing ever, you know. And some of them I've been right, and some of them I'm still holding on to right now, you know. So. We don't know, you know. Um, beauty's in the eye of the polar, as we say, you know. It's kind of the thing, really, with making art, is that, you know, we make it, and we just make stuff that we like, you know, all of us, for the epic do. Um, and we're honestly just honored, or blessed, or lucky, or whatever the terminology you want to use for it, but at least I am, you know. I'll say that I am honored or lucky or blessed or whatever terminology you'd like to use, but that's what I am for when people also like it, you know, um, you know, and that's really, you know, a thing with anything in life, you know, I, you know, it's my job to like myself, love myself, you know, think the best of myself, and, you know, I can just be happy with that, and if anybody else in the world agrees, or thinks that I'm, you know, a nice person, or thinks that I'm, you know, doing good, or whatever, then that's just icing, you know, it's the same with everyone, you know, if you think that you're a good person, you know, and only you think that great, and other people do also, then that's icing, you know, it's, you know, you 
got to have your cake. Yeah. So, be, you know, be the best person that you can, you know, for yourself and, you know, think as highly as you can for yourself and of yourself and everything. Oh, I see how that white got in there. Okay. But yeah, you know, be that person for yourself and, you know, when other people do share that opinion of you and think of you that highly, then that becomes icing in your cake. That becomes a little something for you to hold on to and you know, make the most of your time in life. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm blowing around a little bit on the inside of this piece here just to kind of move things around and, you know, get it moved inside of the, the base area here um, before I kind of stretch it out. Because, you know, I know that there's a lot that's going to go into this here as far as, you know, breaking open some of this here. Um, I had actually almost thought about also leaving the canvas like this. You know, once I do get it opened up a little bit more with the hair dryer, just leaving it all like right there in the center, just having a big ball there. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I'm just admitting everything, you know, and this is one of the admissions because, um, you know, I remember like just looking down, I'm seeing all this, you know, all these little, you know, webs and everything kind of coming through, and I'm like, yeah, she just leave this here, you know, and just have like a giant, you know, nuclei eyeball type of thing coming out of the center, you know, you know, it was really spidery, um, per se, I can never tell you, you know, I, I think this is called leasing, um, and, you know, some other thing that you'll see, but like I said, I'm blowing the paint out over, um, out over, especially out from the inside, um, out from the center. The blue kind of in towards the center at first, and then as I, you know, make my web go around and out towards the, you know, outer edges or whatever. Um, I think I've done something kind of like this, and I did leave it once. You know, I liked it, per se. Um, and it's kind of weird because, like, since then I've been doing a lot of these types of things. I have kind of left them. Most of them, you know, some of them I've spun out. You know, I, you know, I've spun them out a little bit more. Or, you know, whatever I need to do to get them out a more, stretch them out a little bit more. But a lot of them just kind of left, you know, center-wise. Um, I really have fallen in love with the technique per se. It's really been something I enjoy doing and playing with a lot. You know, this year. Yeah, I really thought about just stopping right there. I was like, yeah. But, you know, I knew that I didn't really have the full canvas covered. Um, you know, there's still like a lot of coverable spots. It's kind of weird that I used this paint. Um, I haven't seen those bottles really since. And uh, this is actually the Artist Loft Level 1. Titanium white versus the Artist Loft Soft Body White. Normally, I will use the Soft Body White, you know, for my, you know, edges and puddles and all that sort of stuff there, you know, just for the outside per se. And I'll use that tight, um, more like a swiping white, just because it is a little bit thicker, but also because I mean, I've had that for a while. I think I probably did also add a little bit of silicone and just got used to, all right, you know, this will be my one thing of silicone if I'm going to have a white that has it in there. Because like I said, it's a swiping white. Um, so I don't know really. You know, we'll, see, we'll see what I'm thinking here. Uh, looks like I might be thinking that I'm going to bring some of the white back in, you know, try to like blow around again a little bit. Before I swipe around or before I uh, stretch it out, you know, that's what it kind of looks like. Yeah, you know, I'm just bringing the whites back in from the outside, you know, trying to get it a little bit moved around. Uh, okay, so now I'm at 20 minutes, so we know the 20 minutes of yapping on my part. I don't know if I'm going to yap for 20 minutes. We'll see. 
I do miss my blonde hair. Yeah, I really do. So, you know, I, I'll go ahead and just kind of touch on this here a little bit. Um, you know, I, I am someone who... I enjoy having blonde hair. It's, it's, it's fun for me. You know? Um, I don't really enjoy just having, like, my regular kind of nappy black hair, and, you know, I'll go ahead and say it like that, you know, I don't, I don't really like it, you know, it's just, it ain't fun, and, you know, the hair doesn't really look right, and, you know, it's a giant bald spot, um, which, it's probably bald from all the times that I've decided to, you know, dye it blonde, but, you know, whatever, you know grows up blonde, I can have fun with it, if it's just black, I'm like, eh, you know, um, and really, you know, it's taken me a while to, you know, kind of get to the point of loving, you know, the hair, myself, and, you know, a lot of things, um, yeah, it's, it's really taken me a point of trying to get to the point of being able to enjoy and love these things. Really with them. Um, it's something I've really had to work towards, you know, in that time to get myself back to where I needed to be, you know, and it's still something that I work on each day, you know, each week here, uh, but, you know, it's work. a lot of fun for me to do the blonde day, you know, that I did back in April, because I never really get to do that sort of thing now, you know, in the adult life, because, you know, have this sort of fun hair day, per se, you know, everything is very serious, um, I just have been doing the substitute teaching thing. You know, with that, you have to be, you know, somewhat of a serious adult. Um, there's one young lady that I noticed who's a teacher at the school I'm at, you know, and I think she has blue hair, but she also can get away with that just because of, you know, I think women, for one, can get away with having colored hair, you know, it's just a thing where men, you know, our hair is expected to be boring. You know, it's like our clothes are expected to be boring. You know, it's like we're expected to be boring. You know, you, you never really see men wear really flamboyant, you know, type of suits or ties or whatever. You know, colorful things. If you do wear something kind of colorful, you know, you're just accused all wrong. And all. You know, yeah, it, it doesn't really work. Where for women, it's just like, yeah, color your hair whatever you want, color you want, you know, wear whatever color clothes you want, but that's great. Um, I don't know. So, you know, like I said, n- nothing, you know, nothing wrong with that, you know, great. You know, I love the fact she's able to do it, and I wish that I was able to do it. And, you know, maybe I would be. Um, I don't know if I've really approached that idea in the school setting too much. I will say, like, you know, the next day, uh, like I said, the next day was a Monday after this, and what I actually did that day, you know, from doing the uh, blonde hair was I just went and shaved everything when I came home from the beach, you know, so, oh, there's my crack again, so, (laughs) it's kind of funny, um, I shaved everything when I came home from the beach. So I had like a little like tint of blonde, I guess you'd say, you know, but since it was so close to my, you know, skin, it just looked like kind of natural skin and maybe I'd spent the day at the beach, you know, it really didn't look like blonde blonde per se. Um, so yeah, that was kind of fun in myself there. So yeah, this is the part where I either make the pain or ruin the pain, depending on how you want to look at it. But I decided I'm going to, you know, after blowing it all in and out, whatever, I decided I'm going to try to stretch the painting out. Um, 
And yeah, this is probably like where I'd make my one change if I was to do this again. Yeah, because I actually enjoy working with these extra large canvases like this. You know, the 48 by 48 are so much fun to work with, um, per se. You know, and even the 36 by 48s have done a few of those. Um, I think there's a 48 by 60 that's at Michael's, and that's my next like. I have the room upstairs actually empty again right now, and I'm really contemplating it. Like, I'm really kind of thinking, hey, you know, you got the room empty, just go ahead, knock it out, just, you know, have have the canvas delivered, you know, because you won't, you don't have a car to put it into, so have the canvas delivered to your house, and you can just knock it out here, you know, in the room, get it done real quick, and, you know, boom, pow, just use the rest of your paints on it, you know. Throw a tarp down, just do it, just do it, you know, just do it. that's like the voice going on in my head right now, you know, the logical thing would be to do it in the living room, but I'm like, no, do it upstairs, come on, come on, get that, get that, you can do this, you know, so, I'm really thinking about that right now, is just seeing if I can get, you know, another large canvas in, I'm trying to do that with, um, but yeah, I think to do this again, I would definitely use more paint, and, it, it, I mean, we'll see, because I am going to edit up the other video. I don't know how long that one's going to be. It's probably going to be the same length as this one here. You know, but, um, or even longer, I should say. This is like about 50 minutes here. So, yeah, we'll probably go a little bit longer on that one there. Who knows? But, yeah, it's definitely going to be like more. I think that one was a flip cup. Um, and, you know. Your methods that you're using, like, you know, your flip cup versus your swipe versus your, you know, blowout versus your spin versus, you know, whatever. You know, everything is, you know, it's always subject and relative. Um, I normally will keep everything in the room with me, and it's just kind of how I feel that like day, you know, like, um, you know, I can mix up how many other colors or how you have pre-mixed and you know, if I feel like flipping something, great. You know, I just did that actually well, a couple days ago. I mean, last week, I think it was, the last time I did a paint session at home. I was just, just like, hey, go ahead and flip up. Boom. You know, put the paints and up together and flip them over. Um, or it can just be like, hey, you know what? I think this one's going to be a swipe. You know, mixing it up. You know, a lot of times what happens is that. I'll do whatever I was going to do first, you know, I'll do the bloom, or I'll do the flip, or whatever, and then, oh, I don't like this, so I'll just swipe over it, you know, that's how a lot of my swipes happen, um, I'm surprised this didn't get swiped over, you know, because everything, you know, at some point, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to swipe over this, you know, um, I really, uh, you know, that hair dryer is like one of the first things, yeah, <laughs> I, I, this is me. Do a flip cup, then use the hair dryer, then do a swipe on top of that, then, you know, add in some whatever else, you know. Um, I keep watching this channel where the young ladies add these balloon kisses in, you know, balloon dips or whatever, and I'm like, Derek, don't, you know, you just fall, you yeah, know, it just become like your thing, so. Um, but I'll end up finding something I want to add in, probably somewhat similar, you know, ribbons or, you know, ribbon pulls or something, not chain pulls, I don't know if I like chain pulls, I kind of like chain pulls, but yeah, you know, it's smoke screens, you know, <laughs> smoke screens, yeah, there's a giant puff of smoke that I'm just going to add in through the paint, I don't even know how that would work out, you know, um, Cheeto chips or something, you know digital diapers, I don't know, I'm just making up words at this point, <laughs> I'm a little tired, um, I'm just going to be honest about that, but yeah, I think I'm just kind of talking for the sake of giving the um, caption something to read here, you know, because then we'll give some fun there, uh, so yeah, at this point I'm just stretching out the canvas, and you know, you can see, you can see, Back there is it is the level three, so it's got the whole backing and all that sort of fun there. Um, 
and yeah, I'm just excited to be able to share these, you know, with everyone, um, you know, it gives me something to do on what would be a rainy evening here, and then, you know, my kind of last thing, I have some cups here that I'm going to quickly try to make it around the piece to put up, come on there, you can do this, oh yeah. I'm really trying to get these cups up. And for the other side, quick, 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 quick. Yeah, so I'm gonna put some cups up here underneath. I like you using the little, you know, party cups or Dixie cups or whatever these little cups are called. Little mini plastic cups. But I like using these to hold my paintings up. You know, they're pretty well sized. It's like they're disposable enough, but they're also not disposable enough for these for me, so, you know, I'll find that I have a bunch of them, you know, and I'll cover in paint, you know, uh, yeah, and that's just what I use to hold my canvases up, you know, it doesn't matter big, small, whatever, uh, if I'm doing records, I'll hold my records on those, you know, at least while they're, like, in their drying stage, um, you know, because, yeah, you'll see, like, I'll do the records with a big spindle or whatever, They'll spin around, they'll, you know, be fine there. Sometimes, I, if I'm just doing the one that day, I'll leave that record there. But for the most part, yeah, I might kind of take them off and, you know, move it, you know, put it on a couple cups so I can dry, you know, somewhere. Um, or for the paint, you know, for the canvases, put them on the cups so you can dry. You know, but, um, yeah, that's all I'm doing here is I'm just putting these on the cup thing so it can dry off and give itself some room um and yeah you can see you know that's pretty much the pattern right there that i'm looking at um uh, yeah this was on my wall right now is that pattern right there you can see it with uh, i have my feet are like dirty i am a dirty hippie making this video <laughs> dirty hippie boy dirty hippie boy but it doesn't matter, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, look at those hands. Yeah, I ain't gonna try. I'm right there. I'm going to try to make that look good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to like wipe off and look at my feet so I can step somewhat outside. I don't remember what I do with my sandals. Um, are they over here? Yep. Okay, so they're over there. Good. Maybe I can move off enough my hands so I can pick up the camera. Um, what I also had to wait for with this here, like, I had to figure out how to get the footage that I recorded. I think I recorded this on my cell phone, which this is actually from my old cell phone. So, it should have recorded in 4K, but I don't know if it's going to download, you know, for the re-upload for you guys back in the 4K. Um, but then also, like, when I got it, I couldn't figure out a way to edit it because it was in 4K, and the phone at the time didn't have anything on it that could edit 4K, apparently, um, yeah, whatever I was using could only edit like straight video per se. You know, now the thing that I'm using, like I don't know if it can. I don't know really understand like how I'm able to edit this here um, because I've been able to edit a couple of 4K videos on my tablet, but I, I actually had to like it was like I had to upload them, then re-download them, you know, or move them some, you know, somehow over. Some of them did end up coming 4K, some of them, you know, just stayed however they were before. I don't even know what that is up there. That's going to be interesting to try to get rid of. Um, yeah. Just like a lot of, a lot of work per se to get to that. And, um, you know, to get to these videos in particular, especially. Cause, you know, I didn't really have the means to get to a lot of them before, to get to a lot of the stuff that I was covering with them and everything. You know, I just couldn't really get to it, so 
now I guess I'm able to, you know, somewhat easier, you know, we'll see what happens with it. Um, you know, we'll see if I'm able to get this and have it convinced to be something I can really work with here. Um, because, yeah, I got a lot of, you know, like, at least a year's worth, if not more, of videos where I recorded them on my phone, but had no way to really, like, edit them, you know, because they maybe took more than, you know, they were more than one take on the video, you know, maybe they, it was like two takes or three takes, whatever, so it took a little bit of editing, and I couldn't just quickly do it how I had the phone set up there before, um, so that, you know, or I just never got around to editing them, because, you know, I recorded, like, seven in, in a day, um, which has happened, yeah, you know, you record, like, four to seven videos, just knock them out, boom, 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 you know, oh, don't have time to record, you know, do anything with all these, you know, or maybe, like, two days, you record seven videos, or, yeah, how many ever days, um, yeah, there's definitely been a couple of times where I'm just going on like super sprees, you know. Oh, I have space to put these paintings here. All right, boom, let's knock them out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, you know. And yeah, next thing I know, I have is just a plethora of paintings sitting here that I can't really do anything with, you know. And I have a plethora of videos I can't really do anything with. You know, they're both looking at me like, hey, do something with this. And I'm like, no. So. Yeah, hopefully now, like I say, you know, with all of this here, I'll be able to do something with these. Um, right now, I'm just going through popping air bubbles. And, you know, I'm going to go around the piece. Just make sure that I have all the uh, edges cleaned up and everything, of course. Um, yeah, this is like the middle of the day, actually. So, I was unable to turn off my black light. Because... This is also kind of, you know, it's a good and bad with painting here. But um, I do a lot of my work at night, per se, painting wise, because, you know, I just feel creative at nighttime. But there, and also, you know, I work with black light, so I can, you know, turn on the black light and see if any of the neon effect or black light effect actually took. And you can't do that at three in the afternoon. So, you know, it's like, oh, I painted this piece at three in the afternoon. I really haven't seen it under a black light, you know. Um, I think I did, like, turn it on one day, just kind of check it out and see. But I don't know if I really recorded it, you know. So, yeah. Um, you know, you won't get the black light view on this. But, yeah, I do go in for a close-up view in some spots and everything once this is done here. You know, once it's done playing with the torch here in just a minute or so so uh yeah i think this is probably where i'm gonna step out and try to get the camera and, you know walk around the piece a little bit um i didn't record everything you know every everything per se but i recorded it a bit you know just gonna go and just kind of see some different, you know, I said I got some purples in here, I got some yellows, some pinks, uh, some whites, some greens, you know, yeah, it's got a really good effect to it, um, I do like the squiggly line sort of deal, it's probably like one of my favorite sort of things to look at, squiggly lines, colors do look a little like you know in some spots but they really pop so all right well that's the end of that thank you guys for joining me i'll come back next time where i'm gonna have more uh paintings all right deuces